Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm going carp fishing tonight, doing an overnighter on a lake. And as I so often do, I'm starting the video with my bait preparation. This is a, a nitro uh, method mix that I'm actually going to use as the main ingredient to put out on the bed of the lake to get the fish in. It's actually self-contained. There's a whole load of stuff in here. Uh, Robin Red, uh, Betaine, concentrated cornstick liquor, uh, yeasts, milk proteins, the whole lot. So I'm not going to add anything to that in terms of other ingredients. That's sufficient to do what I want to do. So that will form the basis of my attractor uh, to the swim. I'll mix this with water when I get to the lake put it in two balls, catapult it out, but before I do um, catapult it out, I will add some corn steep liquor and that will give it that, that extra bit of zing. So that will form the basis of the first part of my bait approach, which is to uh, track the fish into the swim. Then um, I won't be putting any boilies or anything out in there, just that. Then on the one uh, rod, I'm going to be fishing a 14 mil lobworm pop-up just holding that there for the camera and that will be uh, dipped prior to uh, casting out then into the bag I will add some corn steep liquor pellets as you can see I've already used those so the bag's a bit, uh, a bit dirty there and a few boilies these are freezer freezer ones. I usually go for the shelf life, much easier to uh, to handle and bring back when you don't need to uh, you know, use them all up. But I've got some freezer ones there, I'll add a few of those to the PVA bag and also I'll catapult some of those around the area where the baited uh, hook, you know, the hook will be with the uh, the boilie on. Then the second, the second rod, I'm going to be fishing a, a 12mm M1 pop-up. You can see there that's a well used tub. I've, uh, I've used those a few times with, uh, with success and I'll be dipping that into some M1 dip. Again you can see I've used that and as with the, uh, the lobworm boilies I've got some uh, M1 boilies there. Just hold one up there for the camera. Standard, uh, standard boiler. So I'll put some of those in. These aren't freezer ones, these are shelf life ones. Pop some of those in the bag and again I'll catapult some out. And as with the uh, lobworm boilie, I'll put some corn steep liquor pellets into the bag as well. So that's my approach for tonight, one that I'm confident with. Of course, confidence in itself doesn't put fish on the bank, but if you're setting off with that confident approach and attitude, then you're some part of the way towards actually getting a fish on the bank. I'll see you at the water's edge. I'm there by the lake. I've put some water in to the mix, added the corn steep liquor, and I'm putting the uh, bait into tiny little balls. Well, I say tiny, certainly uh, no larger than a golf ball. I, it's the first time I've used this, and I've actually put some in the margins when I arrived. It, it falls quite, uh, quite good. I'm fishing in a fairly reasonable depth of water so it falls to the bottom quickly leaves a little bit of a, a trail which is uh, alluring to the fish of course tempt them in but basically I want to get the stuff on the bottom and uh, within a few few seconds it, it, it nicely pads out but of course it's it's not going to go out that much is it so the idea is rather than put uh, a few large balls of bait out there which will basically be mounds in that area. I want to put as many small ones as I can so that it's spread over a, a, a wider area and, and that of course is, is more of an attraction to the fish coming in because it gets them feeding in, in a wider area and it's great if you've got one carp you know you can put just a couple of balls out in the tight little spot but it, if as I suspect there'll be a few feeding tonight I shall uh, want them over a, a wider area. That's the plan anyway.
the rods are out now. When you saw me reeling in earlier, I'd actually had a little bit of a, a take. It wasn't a carp, of course. A carp would have been hooked and straight off, probably a small roach, but I had several plucks, and so I decided to uh, reel in, just in case there was a very small fish on the end. As it was, there was nothing. But I'm uh, confident now. It's a lovely evening. In fact, it's like a, it's like a summer's evening, and I'm expecting to be in my uh, polo shirt all through the night because the temperatures are still into double figures well they are at the moment anyway they weren't last week and who knows what they'll be next week the angling that we do in this country in all weathers we have to just put up with what comes along don't we so tonight i'm going to enjoy this uh, this mild weather Well, I've done everything that I can now. It's time to sit back and crack open <laughs> the Pepsi Max. And if you're connected with me on Twitter or Facebook, then you may well remember me posting that, cracking open the Pepsi Max. Those creatures that you've just seen, white clawed crayfish, those are our native species, not the imported ones, the signal crayfish from America that have caused devastation to our native stock. Those are our native crayfish, endangered as well, so I was really pleased to be able to capture some. I saw them in the margins, capture them on film should I say, <laughs> saw them in the margins and uh, it's quite clear and shallow, so I thought I'll give it a go, see how it comes out came out perfectly really pleased with that sometimes catching fish is a bonus although of course I am here to catch fish not film wildlife but I'm still hopeful it's now quite dark um, sun has set and uh, hopeful that the fish will come on the munch soon just had a run I'm playing the fish bringing it in nice and steady I don't know what the time is, but it's the early hours of the morning. I've got the fish on the mat now, just about to unhook it. Brilliant when you uh, get something, isn't it? Particularly when you have to have a big carp like this. Although this isn't particularly big, it's a, it's a, it's a good double. It's not a 20 good double. In fact it's uh, the colour of it you'll, you'll see from the photograph in the article. But uh, in the dark as I was bringing it in I thought it might have been a tench. Wow this is, a, this is a very big tench. As it is it's just a nice carp. Right let's get it uh, photographed. You can see the fish there in the net, the landing net ready to return. I said it was the early hours of the morning, it's actually 5.30 a.m. Three months ago this would have been uh, light by a, a good hour or two. Good thing about this time of the year though, it's, uh, it's good for the, us who like our night fishing. We get a good few hours in, don't we, during a 24 hour cycle.
getting ready to pack away now. There's only one thing that I dislike about angling, and that's getting ready to go home. Not that I don't want to go home, of course, but I enjoy my uh, fishing so much. Ever since I was a kid, always ate it, packing away. I love it when I get here and I'm setting everything up and I've got a session ahead of me. But when that time comes to an end and I've got a breakdown, I don't, uh, I don't like that. But there's always the next time, of course. And if you're watching this uh, video, read the article to see how I get on the next time because there will be more carp sessions coming along. Not on the video, of course. They will be in the article. Each week I produce an angling journal entry that consists of a video that you're watching right now and an article. The two complement one another. And if you go to the uh, YouTube video in the description not the comments box but in the description you will actually find a link to the article so you can click on it straight away and see how I get on in those other sessions I've really enjoyed myself this time just the one fish and sometimes people post on YouTube oh you catch one fish in 10 hours I catch one fish every 10 minutes well yeah but those are different waters aren't they and that's the thing with angling it can be what we want it to be for us so See you soon. Tight lines.